Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. In this video, we're going to be learning about experimental probability using data from a table. Coming up. Okay, so in experiments involving chance, we use the following terms to describe what we're doing and the results we're obtaining. The number of trials is the total number of times the experiment is repeated. The outcomes are the different results possible for one trial of the experiment. The frequency of a particular outcome is the number of times that this outcome is observed. The relative frequency of an outcome is the frequency of that outcome expressed as a fraction or percentage of the total number of trials. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about relative frequency, which is the frequency over the total number of trials. Okay, so let's do an example using relative frequency. So George keeps a record of the number of apples he eats each day. Estimate the probability on a randomly selected day that George will eat exactly one apple and B, at least three apples. So we're going to be using this table of values to answer the question. We can see from the table that George has recorded data for 43 days. And that is 10 plus 17 plus 12 plus 3 plus 1 days altogether. Now, in order to find the probability that George is going to eat exactly one apple, we're going to use relative frequency. That's the frequency divided by the number of trials. So we know from the table that George ate exactly one apple on 17 different days. So that will be 17 divided by the number of trials, which is 43 days. So 17 divided by 43 will give us an approximate value of 0 0.395. Or we could say that the probability of George eating exactly one apple is about 40% of the time. Okay, part B. The probability that George eats at least three apples. So the word at least here can refer to the fact that George could eat three or more apples. So in this case, he, he can eat three or four apples because that's the data that we have in the table. So from the table, we can see that George eats three apples three days and four apples on one day. So in total, we can say that's three plus one, which makes four over 43, which gives us a probability of 0 0.093, or about 9% of the time, George is gonna eat at least three apples. Okay, let's look at a different example where we have group data. This table shows how long Nathan has slept each night recently. Estimate the probability that tonight he will sleep for a, between six to seven hours and C between five and eight hours. So pause the video here, see if you can do this for yourself and then play when you're ready and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so before attempting to solve this problem, we know that Nathan has recorded data for a total of 121 days and that we can find out by adding the frequencies from the table. So seven plus 29 plus 46 plus 39 will give us 121 days. So in order to solve part A, which is the probability between six to seven hours, we know from the table that Nathan slept between six to seven hours on 29 separate occasions. So that will be 29 days over 121, which would give us approximately 24%. Okay, so for part C, we're trying to find out the probability that Nathan slept for anywhere between five to eight hours. So we look at a table of values, we're looking at three different class intervals between five to six, six to seven, and seven to eight. So we're gonna add seven, 29, and 46 days all together to give us a probability of 0 0.678 or around 70%. Check out the next video in the series, which is sample space diagrams. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.